Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shakira and we are starting off this vlog in St. Augustine, Florida, which I'm super excited about. Odell and I booked an Airbnb here for the weekend and we have quite a few things planned, so we're super stoked for that. Um, we are gonna start off by going to this antique or classic car museum, which we both love classic cars. Um, so I will take you guys along there, but before I will give you guys a quick little montage of the Airbnb we're staying at. Well, that is the tour of the Airbnb. If you guys like it, I will leave it linked down below in the comment section um, so that you guys can check this place out if you are in the St. Augustine Beach area. It is literally walking distance to the beach, which is right across from us. Um, so that's definitely a selling point. But yeah, let's go to the Classic Car Museum. guys we just got back into the car from the classic car museum here in st augustine and it was literally so cool like it was the coolest thing ever i want a classic car so bad specifically a thunderbird or what was the other one what the corvette yes yeah or a corvette literally like so beautiful such beautiful cars one day i will have one of those cars <laughs> but i Totally recommend you guys come here and check this place out. It's really, really cool. The admission fee is $10 a person um, and you're able to walk around however long you want, read up on each of those cars. Um, the owners of this place are husband and wife. So it is family owned. They're involved in a lot of charities and they've been playing around and collecting cars for over 30 years. But yeah, uh, we are probably gonna head back to our Airbnb now, hang out for a bit, see where we're gonna grab some lunch and go from there. We are leaving our Airbnb now and heading to, where are we going? Sunset Grill. We are going to Sunset Grill. We are starving. It is two o'clock. We're gonna grab some lunch. We've heard this place is really good. So I will take you guys along and let you know if it is. That was so good. We just got back into the car from Sunset Grill here in St. Augustine. And we started off with a strawberry daiquiri, which I would definitely recommend. It's not too strong um, and it was really good. We moved on to the mozzarella sticks, which probably the best mozzarella sticks I've had in a while. Would you agree? Yeah, they were really good. <laughs> and then my for my entree, I got a blackened mahi sandwich, which was super delicious. Odell got grilled shrimp. Again, he thought it was good. Yeah, yes. they were good. They were like medium sized shrimp, which is good because I hate when they give you just the little shrimp that are like this big. True. And I also hate when the shrimp are way too big because then it's kind of <laughs> So yeah, just medium sized shrimp, which was good. The fries were okay. The green beans were interesting. They had a lot of garlic on them, but everything was overall pretty good. Yes, and show them what you got. I got this hot sauce, which is very similar to Tabasco. And I like. I've been liking Tabasco more. When I was younger, I didn't like it at all but I've been liking it a lot more recently. I don't know why. Um, and that one is very similar to it, maybe just a little bit better. So I bought it, it was five bucks. If somebody doesn't have a good hot sauce, we have our own. But after that, we got the key lime pie, which is made in the house and it was delicious. So I think overall, I would recommend you guys come and try this place out.
I'm ready. We are going to the distillery and then we're going to go wine tasting, which I'm super excited about. So let's go. Here is a quick outfit of what I'm wearing to wine tasting and to this distillery and Odell's going to show you guys. So the top is from Forever 21. It's a super cute silk top. Jeans are H&M. Shoes are H&M. Backpack is Forever 21. And that's the outfit. guys so we just got back into the car from our self-guided tour here at the St. Augustine distillery and my opinion is I liked the first two you get a total of four different uh, tastings and I like the first two which were I believe gin and tonic and a vodka mule maybe those two I like the other ones were like a dark liquor like a bourbon and a what they had a rum tiki Okay. which was their rum mixed with, I guess, some mixer that they have in-house. And then we had an Old Fashioned, which is basically just like their syrup with like the naturally flavored, like little orange peel taste with the bourbon. And I don't know if it was, I don't know, they have two bourbons that they make and I don't know which one it was. Yeah, I kind of wish that it was just straight up samples of the spirits themselves and not the like cocktails. Because I don't know, a lot of the taste was masked behind their mixers, which were good. True. But I do wish, I feel like I would have bought more if I basically was able to taste the actual flavor of what the rum was, what the bourbon was, True. as opposed to the mixer. So. But it was good. I agree. Definitely recommend that you guys check this place out if you are into, uh, I guess, spirits is what you would call them. Um, it was free. There was no charge, no entrance fee, none of that. Uh, and it's really cool because you're supporting like all local, um, locally, local farmers. It's all locally produced and everything that they do is local. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. But we are going to go now to the wine tasting, which is literally less than a minute away. Um, and do that, which I definitely think I will enjoy more. And just like that, we made it. <laughs> Literally a one minute drive. So let's go inside, it's super hot. I'm ready to drink some wine. Let you guys know how it is. That was so fun. We just finished the wine tasting. Our wine guide, I guess is what her name was, um, was Paola. So if you ever come here, she is the sweetest person. Secured the bag, got a couple of wines for ourselves. I think we got about four of them. I will let you guys know which ones I got. I don't really remember. It was a couple of white and one red, I believe. But it was so good. All of the wines we tasted. I think she gave us like eight wine samples or nine maybe. Um, but definitely, definitely come check this place out. All right, so we're back in the car and I have the list here of which wines we bought. So we got the Rosa, the Blanc de Fleur. <laughs> Probably not saying that right. The Vinter's White and the Vinter's Red. And they were all so good. I love like a sweet wine. I'm not a huge fan of dry wines and all of them were really good. Three of them were white and the other one was red. Um, so those were my favorite that I tasted and Odell tasted. You like those as well, right? Yep. Yes, those were our favorite. So we're gonna head back to the Airbnb now, um, probably chill for a bit and then figure out where we're gonna go for dinner and call it a night at that point. All right guys, so we made it back to our Airbnb and we just chilled for a bit. It is now like eight o'clock, 8.30ish. Uh, we are gonna go get some dinner. We're actually going to this place called Pizza Time, which apparently is the second best pizza in the United States, which I'm pretty excited about. I've had quite a bit of pizza in my lifetime, Chicago style pizza. I used to live in New York, so I've had New York style pizza. But apparently this is the second best, so I will be the judge of that and I will let you guys know how it is.
All right, guys, we just finished at pizza time and it was fire. Definitely number two pizza in the United States. It's so dark, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, do you agree? Do you think it was good? Yeah, I agree. I think it was great, not just good, it was great. Yes, it was really, really good. I got a cheese slice with mushrooms um, and Odell got cheese and pepperoni and both of the slices were so good. The sauce, immaculate, delicious. They were super quick and customer service was great. I wanted to try their garlic roll, but you can only buy like, I think six. It's either like three or six and I only wanted one. Um, so I was like, oh, never mind, it's okay. Uh, and the guy was kind enough to give me one anyways. By so, surprise. Yeah, by surprise. He didn't even tell me he was gonna give me one. So I thought that was really sweet, really great customer service, really good guy. But yeah, we're gonna check on my car now. And then we're gonna check out this place called Mayday Ice Cream, which also has really great reviews and it's supposed to be really good. So I will let you guys know. We made it back to the car. We got our ice cream. I got a kid scoop, Odell got one scoop and mine is the aviator and you got parent trap parent which trap. is it's a peanut butter with oreo pretty much it's really good definitely check this place out as well we are gonna head back to the airbnb now and probably call it a night nine o'clock right now and as you saw Odell and I went to watch the sunrise this morning which was totally worth it we woke up at like six ish but um definitely worth it it was so beautiful we spent a couple hours there we're gonna shower and go get breakfast I think we might stop at two places so I will take you guys along with us all right we got all cleaned up and we are heading to breakfast now it's 10 o'clock I think stopping to get some coffee first at a place called Kookaburra I believe I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly I keep saying Kakabura but I don't think that's right um but I'm gonna get some coffee there first and then I think we're probably gonna get some real breakfast somewhere else so I'll take you guys along and let you know All right, so we just got back into the car from breakfast and I got some coffee at the Kookaburra, which definitely is really good and high on my list of best coffees that I've ever had. Uh, and then we went to the Spot Cafe, I believe is what it was called. It was a very classic breakfast. They had a very large menu and everything was super affordable. Um, so definitely check that place out as well if you're looking for like an affordable kind of diner style breakfast. But anyways, we are now at the old jail here in St. Augustine. So we're gonna get off and go explore. All right guys, so we're back in the car now from exploring the old jail. And to be honest, I, probably would go there again old to say it. the least yeah a little bit too old for it maybe that's why they took us in first grade all right guys sorry about that the light ended up turning green on us and we had to start driving but we are now parked um but yeah like i was saying we are just probably a little bit too old for it um but i mean if you guys have never gone before i would say go check it out and you know be the judge for yourself uh same goes for the castillo de san marco which is the fort and it's very popular a lot of tourists go there and check it out if you've never been there i would recommend you go but Odell and I have been to St. Augustine a couple of times already and have already seen it. So we're not gonna be making a stop there this trip. Um, instead, we are here in the downtown district area and we're probably just gonna walk around, maybe go a little shopping and, gra <laughs> and grab some shopping. lunch. <laughs> I'll go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna grab some lunch at the Prohibition Kitchen, which we were recommended to by one of our friends and they shout said it was- Shout out Christian. Yeah, shout out Christian. And they said it was really good. So I will take you guys along. Apparently they have live music and I love live music, a sucker for live music. So let's go.
so I forgot to say that we got back to our Airbnb and we came back to the beach uh, for a little bit, but we're gonna get cleaned up and head to dinner now. Alright guys, we are leaving Salt Life where we just had our dinner uh, and to be honest we didn't really order too much because we were pretty stuffed from our lunch earlier today um, but we're gonna head to Buffalo Wild Wings because Odell wants to watch the fight that's happening tonight. <laughs> yeah, the food here wasn't all that. I don't know what happened. I just feel like I'm in a rut or something because nothing looked appetizing on the menu except for the key lime pie. But yes, yeah, Can I ordered like a, that key lime pie is fire. Yep. So good. I ordered like a crab spinach dip thing. Not good. Not it. Not it. I mean, I'm very picky too, but that was not it. <laughs> that is very true. Um, I just got a house salad because like I said, I was pretty stuffed from earlier today. We pretty much just ordered a bunch of like a couple appetizers. But yeah, I mean, it's still cool. You guys can come visit. It has a two-story level. I think it's probably nicer during the day because it has like a view uh, of the ocean, which is pretty cool. But like I said, we're gonna go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Odell's gonna watch the fight, <laughs> which he's super excited about. And from there, we'll probably go home and call it a night. Good morning, guys. It is currently 8.20, I believe, in the morning. And unfortunately, we miss the sunrise because we Went to bed really late watching the fight last night, um, but we're gonna go to the beach now, enjoy our last day here. Got our handy dandy tripod so we can take some good pictures. Um, but yeah, you guys can check out those pictures on my Instagram, at Shakira Curtis, if you'd like. And yeah, we're gonna go to the beach now. And then we have a couple other things planned for the day as well, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so we just checked out of our Airbnb and are at breakfast now at this place called Sea Oats Cafe, which was super convenient, located about five minutes away from us, and they did have really good reviews. Um, but after this, we are going to go and either explore again in the district of the downtown St. Augustine area, um, and I know that Odell wants to go to the golf what is it? Hall the, of Fame. The Golf Hall of Fame. So we're probably going to do that as well. So we'll take you guys along there also. Are you stoked? Yes. I got to see what, what this is all about. How did you like it? It was good, it was very educational. I'm new to golf, so I don't know a lot of history about it, unlike other sports like football, basketball, baseball. But yeah, it was really cool. It was pretty cool. It was very big and it was not packed at all. And they have like uh, little test courses that you can do and like a simulator. What's that called? A simulator? Yeah, there's a sim and I birdied on my first try. He did and I sucked, <laughs> but I didn't, <laughs> <Double ex par. laughs> I didn't expect anything better than that. Um, but it is currently pouring, which sucks, because um, we had plans on going to the downtown area, like the district area, and I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that now, because we're literally getting <laughs> soaking wet. Um, yeah, I will keep you guys posted. So we sprinted to the car in the pouring rain, and obviously, I'm literally soaking wet. So I think our plans for today are just to drive back home 
uh, which kind of sucks, but we've done so much here um, in the time that we've been here for this weekend. So I will just close out the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. And you can follow me on my Instagram to see all the really cool pictures that we took this weekend at Shakira Curtis. But again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye.